Anna Frederick, and you're in the film Irene in Time. Yeah. Okay, and tell us about your role in the film. Um, I play Irene. Um, it's a girl who's, uh, it's a it's a really magical film about fathers and daughters. And uh, I play a girl who um, who lost her father at age 13. And um, it's sort of like a kind of magical, charming story about fathers and daughters and how the relationship with fathers ref reflects on women and their choices of men throughout their lives and, you know, kind of resonates back to the fact that it's hard for girls to find daddy in men and how that can, you know, really, um, really make women feel lonely and isolated and that sense of longing, you know, of, of being unconditionally loved by, by your father and, you know, uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a story of a girl who's had some bad luck dating men and is essentially looking for her father and um, it's a great it's a great film coming out right before Father's Day on June 19th in Lemley and Landmark Theaters. And now that you've worked with Henry Jaglom before mm -hmm. and your first film was Hollywood Dreams. Yes and uh, that was a film um, that was my first film with him and it was probably my bigger break out here of, um, you know, working on a, a film that was over $2,000 <laughs> with a budget of, you know, a little bit over that. So that was about a girl who came out from, who comes out to Hollywood from Iowa and uh, in search of fame and fortune and um, sort of, it's a kind of Alice in Wonderland uh, story, a parody of Hollywood and great cast. Justin Kirk was, um, was in it and Zach Norman, and David Proval, Karen Black. And um, and then we just filmed a sequel to that because we had a great response to it and people, you know, people love films about Hollywood and show business so we did a sequel called Queen of the Lot in which I'm the same girl only now I'm famous and um, battling addiction, you know, I have an ankle bracelet at the beginning of the movie like Lindsay Lohan and um, it's co-starring Noah Wiley and um, Chris Rydell and a whole bunch of great, again, a great cast and just sort of the continuing saga of what what's going on with this girl. You know, you have an office here. Mm-hmm. That's okay. in my office. Yeah, yeah, and it's, you know, and you have it, you know, with in Henry, and, you, and um, Henry, you know, share the same company. Yes. Okay. Yeah, how, what was it like to get your office? <laughs> uh, it was, I didn't really know what to do with the space because it's kind of small and um, didn't know quite how to decorate, so went straight to Shabby Chic. Although I probably, you know, I'm not trying to promote them because they're going out of business, but they have great stuff, so I just wanted to make it cozy, casual, girly, flowery, and um, a little bit intimidating because it's like I've had apartments this size, you know? So it was, it was a momentous occasion. And it's like, oh my god, yeah, can you imagine your first day? This is my office? Yeah. It's so cool. It's so cool. And yeah, okay, now we're talking about Project Save Our Surf. Because mm -hmm. um, we interviewed you back in April. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, tell us about the uh, the progress you've made with that, with Save Our Surf. It's been really amazing. Really, um, I feel very fortunate. Because I didn't, it started out as something small and really just ramped up into this huge event and had such an amazing turnout from both the surf community and, um, you know, just the celebrity community out here and, you know, actors, producers, just everybody really got on board and fought for something that I feel really passionate about, which is saving our oceans. And to have people giving so much in a time when you know, people are afraid that a lot is going to be taken away from them because of the, the struggling economy. Um, just, I don't know, it just really inspired me and made me realize, like, the heart of human nature and, you know, what we believe in and what we, we need to fight for. Um, and it, we had Sean Thompson there, who's a world champion surfer, P.T. Townend, Rob Machado, like, 12 other pro surfers there and then just great um, actors who came out like Jeff Garland and Elliot Gould, Noah Wiley, Judd Nelson. Just a great turnout. It was, it was, it was amazing and I know next year is going to be even better and we just needed something I think in the Santa Monica area um, to gather all the surfers together and gather the community together and really get people on the same, the same ship of, you know, really, um, really working together in a, 
you know, as a community, as a family, to start respecting and changing what's going on with our oceans. You know, there's so many times as a surfer that you can't go out because the water's so filthy and after it rains, you know, all the, the runoff that's going on um, can make, makes a lot of people sick and, and um, you know, the ocean is still a really magical sort of playground for me because I'm from Iowa, so I've, I didn't see an ocean until I was 16. So to be out here was, and see the ocean for the first time, it's just like, oh, it's just a really special place and I just don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to it, I guess, simply. You know, what was the first beach that you saw when you came out here? The first feature? No, 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 sorry, the first beach, sorry, the oh, first the beach. Oh, the first beach. Yeah. I thought you were asking me, I, I don't think I would ever remember what the first feature was. <laughs> um, the first beach that I saw, it must have been Santa Monica, I think. Um, I don't remember, that's a really, no, you know what, it was um, Redondo. I came out here and slept on a friend's couch who was an engineer in Redondo Beach and I just crashed on his couch for a month while I was looking for a waitressing job. I totally blocked it out, but it was incredible. I couldn't believe that people actually live well, next to the ocean. It's amazing, yes, because a lot of actors are waitresses, you know, and they have survival jobs. But you actually made it, so it's inspiring. <laughs> yeah, after a lot of a lot of waitressing jobs after probably I remember I was driving out because I was I was I received a word from the Method Fest which is performer to watch which was really cool because um I remember like my second year out here auditioning with monologue for Method Fest um because actually they were offering a speaking role in a Henry Jagu film and I didn't know Henry at the time and I just went randomly and auditioned with like 400 actors to, to try to make it through the finals of this this monologue um, or of this competition and I remember I didn't even make it through you know like the first round elimination so anyway so I got um, performer to watch award for 2000 and we're in nine right <laughs> at for the Method Fest and drove out to Pierce College and I was just looking along Ventura Boulevard and seeing like 12 different restaurants that I worked at along the way and got fired from, you know, because I wanted to go home to my parents for Christmas or what have you. And um, it, it was just inspiring. You know, you when, you when you're out here long enough and you work hard enough, as you probably know, it's there's just a sense of, okay, I put my time in, I deserve this, you know, or at least I deserve a chance or I deserve... You know, I don't know, you just stop apologizing, I think, for who you are, and you just start accepting who you are and where you came from, and it's it's great. It's, I mean, knock on wood, I think you're always afraid, as an actor, that you're going to wait tables again, and you might, and that's just something that you're prepared for, <laughs> and have nightmares about. <laughs> okay. okay, now you're going to be in a play called A Couple of Chicks, chicks Sitting around a couple of white, white chicks, chicks sitting, sitting around, around talking. talking. Yeah, and you get to play a fun, the fun character. I know. I'm really just looking forward to having acrylic nails because I've never had acrylic nails and I think that that is, it's a, you know, it's a girl from uh, a woman who is um, kind of a dilettante from the South but kind of a, um, you know, from a really small town and moving to Westchester and so, um, it's a fun, big part, and I just, uh, I want to have big hair, acrylic nails, and a push-up bra. <laughs> I love it. I have a good time.